In today's video, we're going to showcase how you can get the Epic Game Launcher running on Steam Deck and also running on the Steam OS. So to get started, let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to need is a Chrome browser or you can use Firefox as well. So you can just go to Discover and download Chrome or again, you can just use Firefox. So I'm going to open up Chrome and then I'm going to want to look for Epic Game Launcher. So we're just going to download Epic Game Launcher from here. And just like Windows, you guys are going to see it download here in the bottom. All right, so my download finished. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Steam. You're going to want to go to games and you're going to want to go to add non-Steam games. So we're going to browse and we're going to go all the way back here. We're going to go to home. And we're going to go to deck. And we're going to go to downloads and we're going to go make sure this is really important that you put all files here and here you see it. This is the Epic Launcher. So we're going to open it and we go into add selected games. So now you should see it pop up here. And here it is Epic. So we're going to right click it. We're going to go to properties and we're going to go to compatibility. We're going to hit force and we're going to use proton experimental here and then we're going to close it and now we're going to open it so it's going to hit play it's going to install it you guys are going to see it pop up so here it is we're going to hit install so again this is just like windows how you would install it in windows all right so now that we have it installed the next thing you're going to want to do is go to games again you can actually delete this i like to keep it on here um, but you can delete this we're pretty much done with this epic install msi but we're going to do the same thing again we're going to add we're going to go to browse we're going to go to all files here all right, so once you do that, again, you want to go to add. You want to come all the way back here again. You want to go to home. You want to go to deck. Deck, and here in deck, you want to click local here. You want to go to share. You want to go to Steam. Then you want to go to Steam apps. And then you want to go to comp data. And then here is really important. So when you download and install stuff that is not like a Steam related game, the numbers are going to be really high. So this is how I can tell that this is the Epic Launcher that I have. Again, you see all these low numbers here. Those are Steam games that I installed. But here's the highest number, meaning it's the one that I just uh, installed. So you want to click it. You want to go to PD, PFX. You want to go to drive C and you want to go to users. You want to go to stream users and you want to go to desktop. And here is the Epic file that you are going to need. All right. So we're going to click it and we're going to go to open. We're going to add it. So right here is the Epic launcher, right? You guys have seen this. So same thing you want to do. You, you want to right click. Or you can use the scroll wheel, go to properties. Got to set some protons here. So we're going to force it proton experimental. So we should be good to go. After you install the WLNK file, the next thing you want to do is go to the scroll wheel here, go to properties. The next thing you want to do is you want to browse the target and then you want to click this. You want to click that and then you want to go back a little bit to where it gives you program files. All right. So when you're done with that, you want to come here to program files. You want to go to Epic Launcher. You want to go to Launcher and then you want to go to Portal and then you want to click on binaries and then you want to click on Windows 32 and then you want to scroll down here until you get to epic game launcher xc so once you get that we're going to open it and we should be good to go and we're going to close this and then we're going to launch it so here you go you see it's open up epic games it's installing it so we should be good to go now all right so here you guys have it this is epic game store running on my device right here again i have access to all of my library these are games that I have all here in my Epic. 
So yeah, this is Epic Game Store running on the Steam Deck. All right, so the next part, so I want to show you guys how you can get your SD card working with Epic Game Launches. So if you guys just want to use your internal storage, then you should be good from here on out. But if you guys have SD card and if you guys want to have the Epic Game Store launch the games and save in your SD card, this is how you do it. So the first thing you want to do, again, we have, we're going to keep this open here. You can close it. You just have to open Steam up again. But you want to come here and click Dolphin. And then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and this is your micro SD card. So you want to click it and then you want to come here and you want to copy this right here. So make sure you copy all of that just like it is. And then the next thing you want to do again, I told you guys to keep this open again, you can close if you want. All right. So this part is real important here. You want to come back to the Epic game store. You want to click the set in Wales. You want to go to properties and here you want to scroll all the way down and you want to type this exactly like you've seen here, steam underscore compact underscore mounts equals. And then you want to paste what you copied here here so again you paste that so it's run media and uh this next thing you want to do this is the important part because it lets steam know that there's a command to open up the folder so you want to do percent command percent so space command percent and guys i can't stress the importance of this making sure that this is accurate so once you do that you should be good to go so we're going to close that out and you're going to see in my Epic Launcher, if I open it up, if I want to install a game here, so I click Final Fantasy, I browse, and you'll see here if I go to my computer, this is my C drive, and then this is my D. So you want to come here, you want to locate which one is your uh, micro SD card. So it's my D, so I'm going to go back. So I'm going to hit my computer, and I'm going to hit D, and I'm going to go to Open. And I'm going to install. So it should be able to install it now to my SD card as you see right there. So that is Final Fantasy installing my SD card. Guys, it's pretty cool. So in order to see if that installed in your SD card, you can always go here. And again, scroll all the way to the bottom to primary. And see primary and that's Final Fantasy installed in my SD card. So if you go back home, this should be able to pop into your Steam OS as well. All right, fellas, that is how you get the Epic Game Store on your Steam Deck using your SD card as well. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. If you guys like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more Steam Deck coverage.